Hi everybody, thank you so much for coming to our video today. You may want to grab a piece of paper and a pencil to write down the item numbers and the amounts if you want. Please email us at iamthefunkypickle at gmail.com. Let us know what pieces you want. We do ship internationally. I'll have to figure out what the shipping is, of course. But if you're in the U.S., shipping will be $5 no matter how many pieces you buy. We only accept PayPal at this time. So just reach out to us at the email address and then include your YouTube name, your address, and of course the email you use on your PayPal account. I want to mention that during this video, which my mom joined me for, uh, something was a little bit funky with the microphone. So our apologies for that. It gets a little bit, I don't know, you'll see what I mean. There's like some sort of weird noise going on. So sorry about that. We threw it out and we bought a new microphone. So next time will be better. Thanks as always so much for joining us. We hope you find something that you really love. All right, cheers. The first thing we have today is this beautiful Leah Stein fox head. And there's the signature right there, Leah Stein Paris. So I bought a collection from a lady who bought these originally in the 70s and 80s. She said she bought them either in London or Paris. I have quite a few of them, but this one I am letting go. I love this color. Do you, Mom? Yes, I do. It's very neutral. Uh, it's cool. Now, this is a book piece. So let's just take a look at the book. This is kind of the the definitive uh, Leah Stein jewelry book by Judith Just. And so this is on page 58. There it is. Yeah, fox head. So since this only had one owner, I mean, other than me, and I've had them very, very carefully stored, it is in excellent condition. So this one is item number one. I love this cat. I love the whole shape of him. I love his back and his tail. Look, it has some nice layering. It's lovely. It is really cool. Yes. And I love the back too. So it's another Leah Stein. Yes. And this is also a book piece. I love this color too. It's Almost like iridescent. Same. Yeah, I know. It definitely is iridescent. Mm -hmm. it, it is. I love it. You could see it would really show in the lights, you know. Oh, yes, yes. Worn. It's almost changeable. Yeah, definitely. So this is also a book piece. This is on uh, page 46. There it is. These are really great collectibles. Leah Stein is, is such a good bet. They're probably only going to increase in value. Beautiful piece. This one is item number two. Here's a very pretty cameo. This one is gold filled. This is another one with some nice iridescence. It kind of needs to be cleaned up a little bit. And it does say gold filled right there. It's the 120th 12 karat gold filled. I love the frame on this one. It's so lacy it's lovely, and pretty. Yes. Beautiful. I have to put this one in the light so you can really see his emerald green eyes. I love this. This is so cool looking. It looks so 70s. Uh, it might be from the very early 80s. It is an Avon. And he opens up like so. Ain't he cute? I love this little guy. He's in very, very nice condition. Take a look at that gold tone. Beautiful eyes, too. This item was a recent find. I want to point out the enameling is in excellent condition. And the other white part, the carved or or molded this is glass this is not plastic this is a very very beautiful beautiful deco necklace and wh what is the drop on this one mom the drop is seven and a half okay so the drop is seven and a half inches and just take a look at it from the side look how raised up it is i love this i especially love these little geometric things i mean i love everything about it so we also have the matching bracelet. I think this set is likely from the 20s. It's just kind of a guess. I, I could be wrong. And it's in fantastic condition. Check out that enameling. You know, a lot of times that's sort of just scratched off and faded and chipping and everything else. But this is excellent. There is a little bit of dirt down in here, you know, if you get it. 
I would uh, take a paintbrush or something like that, maybe put a little, you know, slightly damp and just kind of dig all that out. If I, if I have time, I, I will do it, but it's seven and three quarters. So okay. Yeah. And the, the bracelet is seven and three quarters. It has a spring ring. This is truly a spectacular set. I have kind of a large lot of single earrings and there's some really nice ones in here. If anybody's a crafter, you know, there's some, some cool stuff. And I don't think any of these are silver or anything. And they're not really old, particularly old. But there is some, oh, sorry, I hope I can make these out. They're kind of all knotted up. They're pretty, you know, if somebody has a know-how to do, to do something with them. Or even if you just have the extra piercing. There's some pretty little little things in here. So we're going to do these. I believe these are all pierced. And we're going to put put them together with these. Now these are also single, but I think these are sterling. Or at least they're they're mostly sterling. A lot of them aren't marked, but I I would think I would think these are some really pretty stuff here. So uh yeah that's that some nice uh, stones some stuff without stones so just a fixer upper or or whatever kind of a big lot to pier steerings here is another lot but there's some really great ones in here and these are i believe these are all clips but there are some really high-end things in here this one for example wow look at that vendom i'm just put this in the light and there's probably wear you know wear and tear signs of wear um but you know people get these they make rings out of them and i've also seen people make bracelets like you know just kind of one each one is different you know going all the way around the wrist did you ever see that mom when people do that yes i have seen yeah that. people are super <laughs> yeah super clever oh this one's like my favorite one this one's plastic i think this one's probably real mink oh okay that that one might be sterling i think so probably anyway you, you get the idea that one might be sterling too actually oh no alpaca okay well there's some there's some cool old stuff in here so if you're a crafter or if you just i don't know maybe you you have the mates to some of these i think there was another like particularly beautiful one in here but uh anyway yeah it's just kind of a mixed a mixed lot of stuff there's a morpho butterfly wing so oh this one too look wow beautiful okay so let's just show show you how many you're gonna get that's a really fun little lot. I just wanted to show you this one too. This one is a signer. Isn't that nice? Wow, how beautiful. I wish I had them both, <laughs> but that would make a really pretty ring or, or part of a bracelet. This bracelet is so good. Look at that. This is sterling silver. This is nice and old. It's a beautiful amethyst probably, but we'll just say it's purple. It looks like there's like scratches on it or something, but when I look with my loop, they're they're kind of inside the stone. It's just like an occlusion that's inside the stone. I, I think it's interesting and it doesn't really show, it kind of just shows like on my camera. It, it doesn't really sort of look like that in person. Anyway, this one's nice and old. It might be from the 20s. Uh, it's probably not any newer than the 40s. Beautiful thing. Spring ring clasp on this one. That one has a lot of character for sure. Isn't that beautiful? It looks expensive. It does. It absolutely does. It's beautiful. This one is very special. This is nice and old. That is a carved carnelian. Let me take a look at it in the light. Oh, I love this one. I love the height on this one. Now check out that condition. When I saw this, I actually got this in like an antique shop. I thought that it was real gold. And it is it is gold filled, so we'll take a look. There it is, I think. Is it upside down? 
Oh, we're going to go out of focus. Are you? Let me check. Hold on. You're probably not going to be able to see that, but it says 1 20th, 12 karat gold filled. And then there are two B's in, I, I think they're circles. And I believe that stands for Binder Brothers. So this is a nice collectible antique name. Oh, I love it. I love Egyptian type jewelry. Do you, Mom? Oh, very much. Yeah, there was that big craze in, in the 1920s when that, that guy discovered King Tut's tomb. Uh, what was his last name? Carter or something? Yes. I can't remember. Wow. Great. In great condition, too. That one is very, very interesting. Look at this pretty sterling pin. This has a nice size. And there's even those things. I think those are called clappers inside the bells. Yeah, they move, right? Yeah, they sure do. What a cool piece this is. It is a Taxco piece. I think that's, does that say TN29 or 28? I'm, I'm not exact. TH29, I think. I'm not sure who that is. But I love the, the ribbon on this. I just love the design of it. And, and of course, the movement, right, Mom? You know oh, how I yes. am. <laughs> um, and this one is in nice condition. I just want to mention, too, it's it's got some nice weight on it. I love that one. Who is this guy again? Is this like the, the sun god or something? I don't remember. Does he look familiar, Mom? No, I haven't seen him lately. No. <laughs> Did you ever date him when you were young? <laughs> um, so this one is is very cool, as you can see. This is silver. Yeah, sterling 925. There's the eagle mark. I think that says 82. That's what it, it looks like, made in Mexico. He's a handsome guy. I like that. I love this necklace and this one is really in great condition now I think this is unsigned Sarah Coventry that's what I I think it is but the, the Sarah Coventry people will will know better I love this I'm gonna measure it too in a minute yeah I didn't see a marking I love the the rhinestones this one looks prettier in person I think it's not really coming across on my camera and it comes with the matching bracelet chihuahua fur how does chihuahua fur get in here mom <laughs> so this has a the, the safety chain which is a very very nice feature so uh, let me uh, give it a measure and i'll be right back this necklace has about an eight inch drop and the bracelet how, how long is this it is six and three quarters. Yeah, it's about six and three quarters, you know, it, uh, approximately. But let's just lay them both together. I love these little curly cues. It's such an elegant set. It looks like it's from the 60s, right? Oh, yeah. That's a good one. I love JJ Jewelry because it is usually very, very fun. Now, this is amazing. There's a signature. Look at that shade blue. Who else likes bug jewelry? We do, right, Mom? Yes. And we do. here's another one. So we're going to sell both of these together. This is another JJ. It's in nice condition. Oh, where did that pesky little mark go? There it is. Okay. Isn't they cute? And I think you could wear these together. I mean, I don't think they go together. I mean, they didn't like, they weren't sold together or whatever but i love them and, and oh, check out check cousins. out the condition yeah they're probably <laughs> they're probably close relations these are adorable we got this one recently this is a chico's this is beautiful and these are not uh ceramic or anything they are plastic and it is about 22 inches long. There is some adjustability. You could make it shorter if you'd like. This is nice and bold. I love these sort of ocean colors. And you see the pattern there. It's a little bit marbleized. Very pretty costume jewelry Chico's necklace. This item is very cute. Now, 
It is of a woman. Yeah, you can see that, right? And there's her face. There's her hair. It's like a little hand mirror pendant. I don't think this is super old, and I I don't think it's silver. It sure looks like it, though. It may just be silver plated. But let's see if we can get it in the light a little bit. Isn't that different? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like a little mirror. I don't know. I love it. And the mirror is, you know, sometimes old mirrors get that around the edge. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's a charming little thing. I do, too. I love that. I love Art Nouveau stuff. Some people may remember the hot dog earrings. I found these in a jewelry jar. Do you like the hot dog earrings, Mom? <laughs> Do you remember these? I love them. You want a bite? They look so real. I know. They're so goofy. They feel like well, you have they're to not those. squishy to a, to a picnic. Yeah, you right. Have to. Right. A barbecue or whatever. Well, this is not everybody's thing. I think they're hilarious and very fun. You gotta love the hot dog earrings. I think so. <laughs> Boy, do they look real too. Mm -hmm. Cute. Look at this little guy. Isn't he cute? Now, I could only find one for sale, and someone's trying to get $160 for it because it's amazing. It's clearly mid century, and he is winking. He has some nice, you know, paint and stuff. Like, it's not all chipping away. Is that another little dog fur thing? Yeah, sorry. Let's just take another look in the light. Isn't he cute? So it looks like on his neck, like, the you, you kind of can't really see it, but the paint, like, you can see a little something going on with the paint there. It's, it's not with the piece itself. Look at his tail. He is mischievous. <laughs> look at his eyelashes. Adorable. These earrings are killer. Here, I'm going to, I want to hand you one up, so I want you to look at it close up. Oh, my, my, my. Yes, isn't she lovely? <laughs> yeah. Isn't she lovely? Oh, my, 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 my. Now, these are very difficult to date. I don't know if they're, you know, vintage or new or what the story is. I've had them for probably 20 years or so. They're on a flower. Oh, it's amazing. Look at her gown. Yes. Oh, I love these. So different. I've never seen anything like these. No marks that I could see. These are beautiful, beautiful Art Nouveau earrings. How about this ferocious guy? You like this, right, Mom? I do. It's really big, and yeah. it's not signed, but it is, of course, somebody that... Do you think I can think of their name? No, I can't. I'll put it on the screen. I think most people probably know already who this who this is. But look at it from the side. He's in nice shape. The chain has discoloration, for sure. So let me just put this on our... Oh, on our neck. He's handsome. <laughs> he's kind of too long, too oh, long oh. for it, but gold nose. wow, he's nice and heavy too. Yeah, gold nose. Mm -hmm. What an what an awesome piece. Let me just um check out the measurement real fast. The necklace has about a ten inch drop, but because of this discoloration, you know, I don't know. I would just recommend switching it out personally. Now, that's a, a very bold, cool item. Wow. Personality plus, right, Mom? Oh, I would wear it. I would. You know what? It's like a conversation starter. It certainly is. <laughs> if you see someone wearing this, you're like going to have to comment on it. Mm -hmm. Very cool. I love this bib necklace. I've had this for a very long time. I don't remember where I got it. These beads are glass. I think this has some nice age on it. And what is the drop on this, Mom? Did I just say? Six it? inch. Yeah, about a six inch drop or so. Let's take a look at this on the on the neck. Oh wow. Oh my gosh. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. Yeah. You'd have to have just the right thing with it, you know? Like even like a white t shirt or something would, would do, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. I guess it, it looked better not on the neck. I hope I hope this is coming through on my camera. 
it's very, a very beautiful necklace. Let me just lay it out again. A lot of work went into that for sure. Here's another item for anybody who does crafting or makes things. These are garnet beads, six millimeter. And you get, you get this many. They're pretty, they're in nice condition. Let me like, put them in the light a little bit more. Aren't those nice? I hope my camera's not getting blurry. Very pretty to make something with. This is a lovely bib necklace. Let's put this in the light because the color is not, not showing very well. Look at that pretty gold, golden color of those beads. They are glass. This is very old fashioned, yes. you know, looking. It's it's not old. I don't I don't believe this is old. Oh, so lovely. we'll take a look. It's it draped beautifully, but it has a lobster cl uh, claw clasp. Somebody thought maybe this was replacement and maybe this was old, but I I kind of don't think so. It's just saying, you know, in the case that matters to you. Let me measure it. This has about an eight inch drop. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love it. I love the little dangles too. How about this Leah Stein? Howling dog. I want to show you the, well, first of all, let me put a little bit more in the light. Isn't that cool? So it's the faux tortoise. But this one is, is very layered. Look at that. Like the complexity of this. Check that out. I love it. I love the the stripes, you know, the wider pieces, his collar. It's it's really incredible. So there's a signature, Lena Stein Paris. It's adorable. There is a special word for this. I can't remember what it is, but I'll write it on the screen. These are those, those dandelion things when you, you blow on them and make a wish. It does say wish right there. This is a, an, an, a nice long chain. Isn't that pretty? I don't think this is old or anything. I got this in a jewelry jar not, not too long ago, and this is glass. It's in nice condition. That's so sweet. Make a wish. I love this old bracelet. Check that out. The stones are very, very nice in this. This may be check. This measures about eight inches long. So the spring ring, no signature on it. Kind of looks the same on the back as it does on the front. I love that. That's really a, a, a beautiful oldie. It's kind of one of those ones they made to, you know, to, to look real likely. Very elegant. Do you like this one, Mom? Yes. I love that blue. Beautiful old thing. This is such a great color. These are plastic faceted beads. There's the gold tone. They're not old. I don't think this necklace is old. It's so cool, though. It's really different. I've never seen anything like it. There is some adjustability. What is the um the drop on this one, Mom? Eight to nine and a half. Eight to nine and a half inches, right? Because you can see right there. You could you could switch it up a bit. And uh, it's very glitzy. <laughs> it certainly is glitzy. This is a very pretty vintage brooch. Take a look at that. Great detail. I guess this is brass. That's what the back looks like. This has some nice age on it for sure. It's in very nice condition. I love that one. It's great. This is such a wacky brooch. It's just crazy. This is not old. I don't think so. And these stones are plastic. 
but I think it's pretty, pretty crazy. It's pretty avant-garde little, little piece. Take a look at that. Wow. This is very modernist. It's so cool. So interesting. Great colors. Very nice condition. Love it. Have a look at this pretty little necklace. I'm guessing that's turquoise. Maybe not. I don't know. I love the arrowhead. I don't think the findings are silver. And it's 17 inches long, right, Mom? Yes. It's in nice condition. That's what the other side looks. Well, let me just turn it this way. Hold on. Take a proper look at the other side. There it is. It looks hand carved for sure. That's a really great necklace. Oops, I have it a little bit crooked now. That's a cool item. Look at the carving on this one. Isn't she lovely? Don't you love her hair, Mom? Yes, it's like windblown. <laughs> yes, definitely. And this is a beautiful shell. Look at that. It's sort of thin, you know, in a wonderful way. So we'll take a look here at the back. This may not be original to it. I don't, I'm not sure. Our, our T-bar hinge. This is definitely not original to it. That really should have a seat clasp. So, uh, I mean, it wouldn't bother me. This probably broke off through the years and somebody had it repaired. It is lovely, though, from the front, for sure. Take a look at the back. You can see the condition. That's very special. Look at the detailing. Lovely. So that's all we have for this time around. We're just going to put on the screen again what the terms are. You know, PayPal only, $5 shipping in the United States, no matter how many pieces you buy, international is more. And you need to reach out to us at our email address, which is I am the funky pickle at gmail.com. Thank you so much for coming, everybody. We'll see you soon. And a shout out to Susan. Hi, Susan. Bye-bye, <laughs> everybody.